morning, everybody. So I have had the hardest time getting up. Um, it is the first week of fully no full-time job and um, the schedule is really in my power. What schedule you ask? Exactly my point. <laughs> it's so bizarre to not have a schedule and just knowing that I create it. But something I want to tell you guys is yes, I love being positive and I 99% of the time am, but um, I am not feeling that positive. So this week I'm really focusing on implementing things for myself to get back to that um, positivity. I will say it doesn't help that it's been raining here in LA, but today, um, I don't want to show you because I don't want to show you where I live, but <laughs> uh, the sun is out and it's cloudy. So I want to run to the post office, get a quick walk in while I can before it rains because, gosh, weather, seriously, I'm a seasonal person. Like if, like back when I used to live um, not in LA where it's sunny all the time, seasonal depression is real. When I was in New York, no ma'am, that was not, that was not bueno. Uh, so I really thrive on sun and getting that sun up on the skin, but I'm going to go for a walk and then, um, I'm going to be productive today. And what that means is <laughs> I'm going to list some stuff on Poshmark, which sounds easy. Um, but I have, there's no excuse today. Like I've got nothing else to do. Everything's already photographed. So all I have to do is measure, find out what the style names of the tops are. Cause they're all workout shirts that don't have the sizes. So a little research is involved in that, but you know, it's not like I'm wasting time. Uh, and then what was I gonna do? Oh my gosh, I forgot, I forgot. Um, oh my gosh, wait, my bundle. You guys, I'm shipping out a five piece bundle. Five pieces. I will talk about what sold in my what sold video that I'm going to put out regardless of amount because I think what's the point of I'm not trying to hide anything so we will put that out on Sunday and I've never had a five piece bundle. I've had like a two piece bundle. I don't know if I've had a three piece but, I've, but this is the most and the person was like liking stuff and then adding stuff to cart. She might even be watching. Um, I think she's also a reseller but I you know, we've all had those people that like everything and it's like, are you really liking it? Or, you know, not. And then she started adding to a bundle and I was like, oh my God, it's happening, it's happening. But then people also do that and then they're like, I'll come back to it and then never buy. Well, she bought. And so we packaged her cute little, um, oh. So we packaged her cute little package up and I'll insert a picture here of what, Everything looked like because everything, meaning the package itself with my cute little thank you note card available on poshbossblake.com. I, it's like, so, it's just like going to be like nice and like bright when she opens the box, you know, I love it. So, um, if she's watching, hi, hope you love your package and yeah, we're going to go out and start the day. I might grab a coffee, um, contactless of course, like with the businesses, or business that I would be going to near my house, but definitely need to get that walk in. Yesterday, you guys, a walk will change your mood. Also like getting up out of bed. <laughs> like, it sounds funny, but like get up. That's, I mean, it does nobody good, especially now where there's no like activity changing in your day to day. Um, I mean, if you have kids, I, I cannot relate, but I imagine it's like little Susie wants to do this today for five minutes and then five minutes later, it's just like constantly changing, you know, hashtag kids. But um, yeah, since there's not really like a huge shift in what we're doing, I'm going to try to keep the uh, staying in bed until the weekends, just the weekends only. Um, that way it's kind of like normal. I need to try to create some normalcy out of this non-schedule schedule. And uh, also, something to know, and don't, okay, this is, heads up, heads up. Hello, hello girl, hey. Um, I want to tell you guys that even though we have nothing to do, <laughs> other than grocery shop and like take care of our families and things, which is a lot actually, um, it does not mean that because we're stuck inside, excuse me, it does not mean because we are safe at home, not stuck at home. It does not mean you have to be productive and have to like become the next CEO of 10 companies that you create overnight. Um, 
I kind of operate on that mentality on a daily basis, quarantine or not. So it's been really, I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler through and through. So it's a challenge to kind of like know that I can't do everything and I don't need to do everything all in one day, every single day, you know. So I just want to share that piece, that piece with you because as someone who is hard on themselves for, uh, and hungry for success, I, uh, one of my downfalls, uh, is I don't like to stop and, you know, I just like to keep running. I'm like an energizer bunny battery, you know? So it's okay to, it's okay to slow down. It's okay. You don't need to be, you know, the next Bill Gates, the next Steve Jobs, the next Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton, et cetera. Great female leaders, you know? Um, yeah. You know what you can do, though? Take your time growing your business. We've got the time. Explore new things. Try sourcing online. Try starting a YouTube channel. Try starting social media. No time like the present, right? Don't have to do it today. Don't have to do it all today. But you could slowly build some steps, you know? Okay, so sorry if that was like a little, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ranty, not ranty. I'm just being real. I'm being real that it's been hard to get up, but I'm up and I'm gonna go take this to the post office, go for a walk, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh my God, you guys, okay, this is perfect timing. I am at the post office, I just dropped off, and this car, this car with this guy right here, um, it's a government car and it's gloves and masks for the postal workers, and I, the, their trunk is full of it, um, and they just, oh my God, I just love that. I love seeing that this is happening for the postal workers, for people that are, you know, having to work or can't obviously work from home, 
Oh my God, that's such a good thing. I love that. And I'm so happy that I caught that. But, um, okay, so no contact. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna try to, this is, okay. Hi, sorry for this weird angle. Hey. Um, I didn't touch anyone or anything, but you know, I'm wiping just because I can and I want to stay safe. You guys, if you're driving too, like don't forget to do your steering wheel. Like I have leather steering wheels, um, so I'll do this with like a, um, with like a leather treatment one so it doesn't like lose its moisture and stuff. But don't forget to do the stuff you touch in your car. I think people forget about that, especially when you're wearing gloves. Like people are like, oh, I've got gloves. And then like you touch your steering wheel, forget about it and then come back and then touch it without gloves at some point potentially. So want to minimize that. <clears throat> And of course we're gonna wipe the phone fully. I don't really need to do that. I didn't touch anything or anyone, but again, following my own advice, it doesn't hurt. Okay, okay. So um, yeah, I'm very happy that I caught this person. Caught, like in a good way, um, giving masks. I was thinking about asking like, hi, I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> can I film you? But like, I feel like that would have been a hard no. And I was like, I'm not even gonna spend the time to do that because he probably needs approval to be on TV or internet. I'm not trying to be part of a scandal, but oh my God, he's gonna hit my car. But anyway, um, he's turning around, he's turning around and I'm going to take a video. There's the car, there's the car, there's the car. Ooh. That's the car, okay, so that's the car. Oh my God, I just love that he's going around to all these post offices to give masks and gloves. I love that, I love that, okay. Oh, weird lighting. There we go. All right, so back home we go. Yay! All right, you guys, so I was just doing my live. Jack, Ryan, and Nick are holding down the fort for me because my property manager just texted and said someone's car got broken into in our parking garage, which is gated and private, but like that's happened to me before in LA and stuff was stolen from me, so I'm like freaking out, making sure that that's not the case. Oh my God, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm not gonna show you my car, but. Oh my God. Why isn't it working? <gasps> okay, there, it's fine. Oh my God, is anything stolen? Like, my car has, okay, it doesn't seem to be rummaged through. And I don't have anything super important. I, Cause I, this has happened before, so I'm fine, but. Oh my God, this makes me so nervous. <sighs> that is, it's just such a violating feeling. Oh wait, okay, everything seems to be fine. So let me just double check that I lock it. Locked, that's so scary, oh my God. Also, it's like very hard to get into our locked garage. You're gonna see me walk outside the door right now, but it's cause I have the clicker. That's so scary. But yeah, so like I said, this happened to me before and um, I'm doing this so you can't see where I live. Um, and it was just so violating. They stole the garage clicker as well in my car so they could get in future, in the future. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the live. So sorry. Um, so sorry that I had to leave you guys, but I wanted to make sure that my car was okay. Thankful that the property manager told me about it because that is scary. Oh my God. Bye. Bye.